Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Google stock. Should you buy it? We're going to be breaking down all the financials. We're going to get into everything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys learn something. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them down below. Also, if you guys want to sign up with Moomoo, you guys can literally get a free stock just by signing up. That will be the first link down below. So go ahead and check that out. So now let's jump into it. Roll the intro. Let's go. Bam. Now, Google does have three different stock classes. The very first one is the class A stock. This is ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. Now, this one is a premium stock. You have all the voting rights and you have pretty much all the you know company behind it. They do have a class B stock. That is for uh, insiders or employees at the company and they do have a class C stock which is uh, access to the whole company, but you have no voting rights. So in my personal opinion, I do think that if you guys are gonna get into this stock, you might as well go for the class A stock because you guys get voting rights for all the board members and it's actually worth uh, spending a little more to get into it. Now, now, one of the most important things when looking at any sort of stock or investment is you always want to look at cash on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and look at and pull up uh, Google's cash on hand. And they do have around $117 billion in cash, which is absolutely crazy. And this is an overall 3.3% increase, which is absolutely crazy. During this time in, of uncertainty that this company is still able to save some cash is a nice, good, good sign. Now, the next thing you want to look at is margin how much profit margin do they have in my personal opinion I do think you want to get into a position or you want to make sure the company has around over around 20% profit margin and Google falls right on that border of around 20% which is a nice little bonus as well now let's actually go ahead and look at their revenue they do have around 41 billion dollars in revenue this is an overall 13 percent increase so i actually really love these numbers during a time of uncertainty with the whole economy it's really nice to see that google is actually performing pretty decent i understand they're mostly an online company so really nothing's shutting down and a lot of their employees actually work from home or remotely which is cool as well also google is rated one of the best places to work in the united states so the way i always look at that is if their employees are happy, they're gonna be more productive, more productivity me makes them more money and makes the company more money. So it's a little tip for you guys. So the PDE ratio or price to earnings ratio is around 31. Now that may seem a little high for some investors, but for me, I do think that since this company is still growing and there's really no signs of competition and there's no signs of really them slowing down. So I do think that that uh, price to earning is a little high. It is pretty normal to actually see that. If you compare that to Netflix's price to earnings, Netflix's price to earnings is absolutely crazy. It's over a hundred. So understand that it's fine for it to be a little high. Also, Google has a market cap of around $1 trillion. So that's cool as well. So they're in that trillionaire dollar club. Also, Google owns YouTube. And since I'm a YouTuber, I felt like I should make this video. So now let's actually go ahead and look at the computer. Let's look at support resistance. Where I see the stock going in the future. Is it a good uh, opportunity to get into it right now? Or should you wait? Let's go ahead and turn to the computer. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So we have ticker symbol G O O G L. This is the Google, uh, also known as Alphabet. This is the Class A stock, and then this one is the Class uh, C stock. So you guys can see all the charting is the same, and really, I would just highly recommend buying the Class A stock, even if it is a little more expensive or whatever it is. You get access to a lot more. You get voting rights. It's really, it's really worth it. So now let's actually look at this chart. So you guys can see we have this beautiful upward trend. Now, if you guys look at it, every time it hits this little trend line here, we get sell off. So it hits it here, sell off, almost hits it here, hits it here, sell off. So now it's coming in contact, coming in contact with it right now. We do have some sort of sell off now. So I do think that there is some downside potential, at least to around $1,400. So if you guys were actually going to go ahead and buy this, I would highly recommend waiting. The reason why is I do think there's just a more downside potential right now with this overall stock, just by looking at this chart. Also, you guys can go ahead and look at this company doesn't pay a dividend. So this is mostly a growth stock rather than an income stock. So I do think that this stock is a good and perfect stock to put in your portfolio. Yes, we have this beautiful upward trend. There's no signs of any issues with this chart. 
resistance here is at around twelve hundred dollars um, old uh, resistance here is around 1500 so it is hitting that trend line and this old resistance so more downside potential also do i think getting into this stock right now is a perfect buy no if you guys are real believers in google like myself the strategy that i would use to go into this is what you call dollar cost averaging what you do is you go ahead and you buy a share that's just say every month you're going to get a better average price on this and really it's going to help you get in at perfect opportunities also if you guys see the stock fall more than four percent double what you normally put in i know that this stock is expensive and i completely understand that doing that is expensive but trust me you guys are going to make a lot more money doing this also you guys can see that this stock is pretty heavily traded um really trading in the millions almost every single day and every single week so it's really common to see a lot of investors turn to this stock also a lot of uh hedge funds and a lot of funds actually put google in because it's perfect growth it's a there's no competition really it's an amazing stock to get into so yes i do think that everybody should buy this stock but i do think you should try to get a better price on it at it right now so that is it though i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode remember to stay happy stay positive and overall stay safe out there also don't forget that you guys can sign up with moomoo and literally get a free stock that'll be the first link so go ahead and check that out we'll see you tomorrow take care bam